Hey, what's up, everybody? Fuego del Sol here with the fifth edition of the Life and Times of Fuego del Sol. It is November 19th. I am scheduled to wrestle for the IWR tonight. It's around 3.30 at the moment. And yes, I'm on a trampoline. <laughs> and I'll explain that in a minute, but I just want to let everybody know I got the IWR tonight wrestling a guy named Paradox from Kansas. Maybe you heard of him. He's from the company called XWE. Some of the IWR guys, the Imperial Wrestling Revolution guys have went up there. And now some XWE guys are coming down here. And that's who I got to wrestle tonight. So I'm looking forward to that one. We'll see how that goes. And uh, then tomorrow I have two Lucha shows in Dallas. So uh, it's around 3.30. I don't have to be at the show for a little bit. For about another hour or so. So I'll come out here on a trampoline to do a little bit of cardio. And to show off some of my flips. Because I want to practice and make sure I'm on point for tonight. And so I'm about to show you guys some of the flips and some of this cardio I'm about to do. Oh, I thought you would say it. Alright guys, I just realized that I was probably a little out of breath when I did the when I did the intro. So I'm uh, redoing a little bit of it right now. Uh, like I said, I'm headed to Paul's Valley. Well, I'm in Paul's Valley. I'm about to pull up at a venue here in just a second. Um, I hope you enjoyed some of that, some of the flips I did. I would have done more, but I realized I was running a little late and it was very, very cold outside. So. Uh, I didn't want to be on that trampoline long, but I needed to get a little bit of exercise in and practice some. So when I get ready for the night, uh, I'm excited because the last time I was in Paul's Valley, I did this crazy move that you're about to see right now. pretty sick right I know I know but uh now hopefully I might pull off something like that tonight but even if I don't I'm excited because this show is gonna be fun I'm a little worried though because IWR is a giant company it's one of the it's the biggest and best company in Oklahoma and they've given me so many opportunities and so many big breaks man I've, I've got to wrestle in front of giant crowds and in front of some of my um biggest and best opponents is because of the IWR so I don't want to disappoint them ever and uh, the last show I did was not up to my standards my caliber of a wrestling match I thought as the main event I should have done a little bit better and if you don't know what I'm talking about go watch the life and times episode 2 but uh, today I'm looking to make that up like I said I wrestled a guy named Paradox from Salina Kansas Salina Kansas uh, he wrestles for the XWE, and now he's making his debut for the IWR. So, hopefully, I uh, I go in there, have a hard-fought contest, give it my all, and come home with a victory. And then, like I said, tomorrow I got a couple lucha shows. So, uh, let's let's go. You'll see some clips unless something happens with my camera, and then I'll talk to you after the match. <laughs>
So here and I'm with Chandler the Truth Hopkins. He just had his second ever match tonight. I've helped him out. He's helped me out. We we come in the weekdays and we grind in the ring trying to train, trying to help out. Tell him what you're all about. Hey man, I'm all about the truth. I come in and tell you what the truth is and I show you the truth in and out of the ring. So y'all can hit me up on my Facebook, Chandler the Truth Hopkins. Y'all can hit me up on Instagram. It's Chandler the Truth underscore IWR. Well, sorry, the Truth underscore IWR. And the same with my Twitter. So if you guys want to give me a follow, I roll with this guy a lot. So just let me know. Definitely. And I'll, uh, when this comes out, I'll make sure I um, tag him on Twitter and Instagram. So y'all can definitely go check him out and uh, hit him up because he's going to do big things. And if you're in Oklahoma, then you come to IWR and watch us kill it and pick up that W. All day, every day. What's up, guys? It's a very rare occurrence that I'm home this early after a show, but it's only 10 o'clock because the show was only around 20 minutes from where I'm living at. So, now let's tell you about the show. It was pretty fun. Um, I'm not gonna, um, usually at the end of my vid videos, I ramble on and talk about a bunch of different stuff. I'm not gonna do that now because this video is not over. I still got another two shows tomorrow. And I wanna show y'all because it's the first time that y'all have seen on the Life and Times of Fuego del Sol, me having a double shot weekend, really a triple shot, which means three shows in two days, triple shot weekend. So, one down, two to go. I actually had two matches tonight, which I wasn't expecting. There was a big giant brawl at the beginning of the show, and the whole locker room emptied to separate these two guys. And then the general manager pops up and says, hey, we're just going to have a number one contenders battle roll right now. And, as you saw in the clips, your boy picked up the victory. It's crazy. I wasn't expecting it, but I somehow managed to survive and last long enough to where I am now the number one contender for the IWR Revolutionary title which is currently held now by Ricky Starks, who you've seen in the Life and Times for the So, Life, Life and Times number two. And so now I'm going to be wrestling him for the belt, hopefully in the next month or two. And then my second match was the triple threat match between me, Ultra Phoenix, and um, Paradox, who's from Kansas. I've wrestled Ultra Phoenix a bunch. This was uh, my first time wrestling Paradox. Um, they're both really young. I have more experience, and when... You uh, are a young guy, you move so fast. All you're thinking about is, I gotta win, I gotta win. So you're moving a lot more where, as if you get more experience, you get more methodical and you slow it down and you try to work at your pace. Whereas young guys, they're just all about trying to win. So they're moving everywhere. So it's hard to try to keep, not keep up with them, but try to win and focus on one person because you always gotta worry about this next guy running in after you. So um, unfortunately, I didn't get the W uh, but I did not lose either. Uh, I got caught with a move after I missed my spiral tap, and then Ultra Phoenix got hit with a go to sleep, and now that meant um, Paradox picked up the victory. So it was a fun show. Um, oh, I want to show y'all something real quick because you know I'm I'm three years into this business, and it's rare that I uh, make a ton of money off of merchandise alone. Like I get paid after the show, of course, but after merchandise alone. One guy come and spent a bunch of money. I made a hundred dollar bill, more than a hundred dollars on um, on merchandise alone today. So that's great. Plus, uh, hopefully, I make some more money tomorrow, and you'll get to see all that in the morning. Ten o'clock. Great show for the IWR. Better match than my last match, but not as great as I wanted it to be. Did pick up a W in a battle royal and a new number one contender. Um, I'll see y'all tomorrow for these two shows that are about to pop up, and. See you in the morning, guys. What's up, everybody? Uh, it's day two of my double shot weekend. 
and we, and when I say we, I mean me, and the saber tooth Mars Lewis, yes, sir. just finished the first show at 3.30. Now we're about to be at the second show. Both of these shows are kind of like in a small little flea market type deal. Yeah. Uh, Mexican shows, the lucha shows. We didn't know what to expect coming down here. We wrestled each other the first show. It went okay. Yeah. Um, I didn't get any clips or anything because I didn't bring anybody with me that could record. But I'll try to get some clips of the second show, or at least show you some footage of the ring. It's a little bit better ring this time. The ring at the other show was pretty bad. Pretty bad. Real bad. Yeah. So, Lowrider, if you're watching this, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see y'all after the second show. What's up guys, we j we finished the second show. Uh, I actually had some footage for that, so you probably saw a little bit of it. Um, much better ring, the crowd reacted more, it was a little bit better set up, and we got paid more, so that's always a plus. Um, I wrestled Sabretooth, Mars Lewis in a singles match on the first show, yep. and then we wrestled each other in a tag on the second show, and then that's how it is sometimes. Sometimes you don't know who you're going to wrestle until you get there, and when you get there, you might have to wrestle one of your best boys, you know? So yeah, we, we tore it up, we did what we had to do, and uh, we beat each other up, and then we come back out of here, shake hands, take it like the better man, and did our thing. Promote your stuff, son. All right, so <clears throat> Instagram is Sabretooth, Mars Lewis, or Sabretooth ML. Uh, underscore 24 fit and then my Facebook page is Sabretooth Marsh Lewis you'll find me definitely y'all go hit him up hit that like button on the his page on his Facebook page and then go follow him on Instagram the dude is killing it fitness wise and he's jumping yeah. back into the game he's wrestled plenty of people yeah me and him was in a fatal four-way with Ricochet last year y'all yes, go sir. check all yeah. that out all yeah. that out and uh we had a good fun trip to a couple lucha shows in Dallas so I'll talk to y'all in a bit What's up guys? I just made it home and it is 10.20 p.m. Uh, Sunday shows usually get over a little bit sooner. Like my second show was started at 6 and it ended around 8. So it took me about a two and a half hours to get home back to Oklahoma. Like I said, both those shows was in Dallas. And uh, I, uh, I want to say they were weird shows. Like I, I've never done a Lucha Loop like that. But both of those Mexican companies had really, really stiff rings. Like some rings are softer than others, and these were really, really hard. So it was a different kind of thing. But like yesterday, I worked for the IWR. Today, I worked for two Lucha shows. Um, 
four show, four matches in two days. Like I had two matches today, um, a battle royal and a match yesterday. I won the battle royal, lost a triple threat match, won a singles match earlier today, and then won a tag match tonight. So three and one this weekend is great, man. Having four matches in two days and last week on the Life and Times Before You Get a Soul, I wasn't even booked, man. I was just, man, what a difference a week makes, you know? Um, so I just want to let y'all know how everything went. Like I said, the Lucha Show was a little weird, but at least I got to pick up the win. I didn't get any clips from the first show today, but I did get some clips from the second, which you saw a minute ago. Um, I didn't get the finish of that match, but we did pick up the win when me and my partner, Ernon, yeah, we wrestled Mars, Sabretooth Mars Lewis, and um, as well as a guy named... Oh, man, I can't even think of it right now. A Mexican name, so I'm sorry. And then in the first show today, I wrestled Mars, as I already said earlier. And then last night, I've told you all about the matches that I had. So I went 3-1 and one this weekend. A rough, long, hard weekend, but I'm about to go take a shower. This is going to be uploaded on Monday because usually I have shows on Friday and Saturday, and I usually upload them on Sunday. But this was filmed on a Sunday. This is that I'm talking to you right now. It'll go up tomorrow. And then I don't know when I'm going to have time to film on the weekends because I just started a new job to do during the week. And then I'll wrestle on the weekends to make a little bit more money around this Christmas holiday time. So I want to wish all y'all happy Thanksgiving because it's coming up Thursday. And I want to say please go follow me on all of my things. You know, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram and like my Facebook page, which will pop up in a second. Um... I got a show in Bedford, Texas next week for MPX. And then in two weeks, I'll be traveling down to Mississippi for Pro Wrestling Ego. Uh, Ted DiBiase is going to be on that show as well, so that's going to be cool. Um, so I want to just say thanks for watching and checking out this video. Uh, just wanted to give you a little peek into my life, you know. Thank you for spending a little bit of your time checking out a little bit of my life in the life and times of Foyo Del Sol. Peace.